It's when mum of two, Heike Phelan, wrote a Christmas card to a convicted murderer in the USA. Uh, never did she imagine ever falling in love with him, let alone marrying him. Uh, yeah, Matthew Shivert is currently serving 75 years behind bars for being party to a murder in 2001. But Heike says she's found the man of her dream. She joins us now. Good morning, Heike. Morning, Heike. Hi, guys. How are you? Very good. Thanks for joining us. So tell us, how did this come about? How did you first get in touch with William Shifford? Um, it was a Christmas card scheme. I'd, I'd actually been writing to somebody else um, and they were all a bit depressed and there was this Christmas card scheme on a prison support website. And so I put his name forward for it. Um, but for others to send cards to him, I was given a list of names where to people I had to send cards to. And one of those cards went to uh, Matthew's friend who said, oh, I, I, I don't want, I'm not bothered about this. Do you want it? And he said, yeah, I'll have that uh, and took it from him. So that's where it started. It so was never intended that it was meant to be um, anything more than, you know, cheer up cards. But you can imagine I was a bit surprised when I then get a letter a few weeks later. And are you allowed to find out exactly what he's done wrong, what his offence is? Do you find that out on Prison Talk? It's called Prison Talk. Isn't that right? It is, yeah. That's more a support and information site. But in the very first letter he sent me, he actually told me what he was in prison for, other things he'd done, that he'd done time for, and said, it's, you know, you can Google me it's, and see that what I'm telling you is right. And uh, every time he told me something, that's what I did. And, you know, every time he did say something, it, it did turn out to be correct. So, so you know, what, eventually... What was he in prison actually for? Could you tell us? Well, he's actually in prison for a law called party to murder, which means that he was with somebody else who committed the murder. Uh, but in Texas, they use this law very prolifically to um, so anyone associated with it is also deemed equally responsible. So whilst he didn't commit the crime, he was deemed equally responsible. That's unbelievable. And he got 75 years, is that right? He did, yes. He's got to serve 30 of those. But the interesting thing about that is that the guy who actually committed the crime got 27 years and has actually been out on parole for the past two years. So strange. So, Heike, when did you, when did you reconcile this in your head that you became convinced of his innocence, and 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 was it then you were able to have feelings for him, or or did those feelings just happen? And then, I mean, I guess my question is, do you think you could have fallen in love with him if he if if you thought he was guilty of the crime because you're so convinced of his innocence? Um. It's, it's not that I think about whether he's guilty or innocent. Uh, that may sound strange, but, you know, that's a crime that happened long before I knew him. Um, so I actually, uh, when he wrote to me and I said I'd write back as a friend, I said, you know, I'm not going to sit in judgment, but I won't be lied to, so you need to be honest with me and I'll get to know you, the person, as you are now you know, not judge you on anything you've done before. Um, so I, I started out with a clean slate with him, essentially. And, and then because so you're... <laughs> because, sorry, but because your relationship's obviously so remote um, and distant, how did it go from having a pen pal and, you know, being this lifeline for someone to falling in love with them and then getting married? <laughs> um, I think because... But, uh, it, at the beginning, it was all through letters because, you know, there were, there were no phone calls or anything like that. Um, so we were writing three letters a week each, uh, which became quite comprehensive, you know. And over time, um, that, you know, he told me more and more and more. Um, I was far more reticent for a long time. Um, but he, he, you know, would, became very open with me about um, himself and you know, his background, things like that. And so as you learn to trust somebody more, you know, obviously become more invested in that person, whether it's as a friend or anything more. So, and that's 
just essentially how it happened. So, Heike, I mean, when did you actually go and meet him then? We've been writing about 18 months, um, and I think I got to know him pretty well by then. So it was 18 months, I think, before I first went to visit him. Um, you know, and then uh, I was I was actually quite nervous because I was worried, well, does the person on paper, is that going to match what I see in person? You know, and uh, fortunately it did. So then you actually went and got married. Did, had you actually even kissed him before you actually got married? <laughs> no, we've been, to, we've been together three years by the time we were married, but uh, I'd, I'd started going out to visit three, four times a year, but for, for all those visits for a year and a half before we were married, we're all behind the perspex glass because he was in segregation at the time. So no non-contact visits were not an option. So it was actually, I think we'd been married for a year before we actually had a contact visit, which is just sitting opposite each other at a table uh, before we actually got to have a hug and a kiss. So, Heike, what does the future hold? I mean, what's, uh, what are your plans and, uh, and when, when is he likely to be released? Uh, well, there are potential prison reforms in motion this year, so if any of those pass, he can be out in the next 18 months to two years. If they don't, he's potentially got another 10 years. So, Heike, I've got to ask, you've kind of potentially put your life on hold for this man. Is he really that worth it? Is he, what does he do for you? Is he really good at writing? How does he make you feel? Well, you say I put my life on hold, but I haven't put my life on hold. He's just um, become part of my life because I still have my job, I still have my friends, I still have my lifestyle, I go out, you know, I travel, um, I've... I've written the books about his life in prison, so I don't see it as having put my life on hold. He is a benefit and an yeah. addition to my life, just like you would view any other relationship. And friends and family, they're all happy? I have very supportive uh, people around me yeah. uh, for the most part, so a couple of them have even spoken to him on the phone, which is quite amusing. That's fascinating, isn't it? Thanks for telling your story, Heike. It's fascinating. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Lovely to meet you. Lots of Good love. luck. Lots of love. Bye-bye. L-O-V-E. That was interesting. Wait, love, love is love, isn't it? Love is love, Alice. Love is love. Come on. I bet you've had a couple of challenges. <laughs> 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 that did not come out how I wanted it to. <laughs> Maybe one or two. <laughs> <laughs> Move on.